Well, we came down here in 1965. I was going to be in graduate school and Patsy was going to teach school. And a friend of ours who we had known at the BSU at Louisiana Tech, where we got our undergraduate degrees, called us and said he was going to take us to church. And he brought us to University Baptist Church. And we've been here ever since. That would uh, be 53 years. I would say that uh, one of the reasons we really enjoyed being a part of this church is that the pastors were always very tolerant of critical thinking. They never discouraged it. Uh, in fact, uh, they really encouraged it. Uh, in reading over uh, the written history of our church, I was struck by a passage describing the first discussion about integration when there was a lot of civil unrest uh, coming to Baton Rouge and always there was the idea of God doesn't put limitations on us and as a church we should always keep our doors and our hearts open and that was to any race, any color, any gender. And that was way back in our history, um, more than 50 years ago. Those discussions took place in a, in a rather formal way. And then there was a description of the first African-American to join our church. And it said it was done with no special recognition or fanfare. It was just a normal, um, person joining our church wanting to be more like Christ and we openly welcome that person and I hope that we're always that way. When Jesus said love your neighbor it he didn't just mean feel good about it he meant love your neighbor and that's an active word as Jesus certainly used it and understood it so I think that implies that we ought to be actively involved in making the world a better place or making our community a better place or our church a better place. And I think this church always has been a group of pilgrims on a journey. And we journey together. We have a community where we hold each other's hands, we question each other, we walk alongside, we joy together, we hope together, and all that is to be more like Christ's love in this world. UBC helps me live creatively because God is a creative God. And God created us to love ourselves, to love Him, and to love other people. This church always has taught God loves you and God loves the person on the bus next to you equally. And that demands that I live creatively and that I open my heart. To me, that's creativity.